Welcome to Kimmy or Journalist TV. My name is Kim. Today we are interviewing a Venezuelan American artist, Atoro Carrera. Welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you. What's it like growing in, up in Venezuela? Oh, yeah. Growing up in Venezuela. Oh, first of all, hello. How are you, Jack? And I'm so happy that you're interviewing me. This is very special for me. And growing up in Venezuela was, I was a very happy kid. I remember, you know, I, I play a lot like in the street. I play baseball in the street and I rode my bike everywhere. And you know, and, and it was pretty much, I had a lot of friends and, and we got together around the block and we just played games, you know, outside. So it was like, I have a lot of good memories about Venezuela. I read that you were a pilot. What was the experience like? Oh my God, Jack, you know a lot. You did a very good job researching. Oh my God, I'm so happy. You're an amazing journalist, by the way. Yes, I, I tried to be a pilot. I did. I, I, I'm a private pilot. And when I was doing my, my instrument ticket, like my instrument license, I had an ear perforation. And then that's it. I couldn't be a pilot anymore. I couldn't fly it anymore. So life kind of took me to be a painter. How many kids do you have? I have one kid. His name is Carlos. He's 13. You have visited Singapore a few times. How were your visits? My visits were amazing, Jack. You know, every time I come, this is my fourth time here. And every time I come, I meet new people, and I see the old people that I know from before, and then I new, meet new people, and then I have like, like experiences like meeting you, a great journalist, and so every time I come here, it's better, it's getting better and better all the time. I heard you have turtles. I have two of them. You do. Yes, yes, mine. Well, how big are yours? Small. Oh, mine. Mine is actually quite big. Mine is like this. And my the name of my turtle is Picasso. Do you have names for your turtles? Yes. Yes. Yellow and red. Oh my God, that's so cool. I know they're very cool, huh? Very cool. What inspires you to do your work? You know what, Jack. I think what inspires me is life, everyday life. I see things, I always go and, and, and grab ideas from everywhere, and then by grabbing ideas from here and there, I make compositions. That's, so the everyday life is what inspires me. Have you ever wanted to give up? Yes, everybody, like it's normal to some days, half days that you say, oh my God, I'm tired. I want to give up or I want to change, but you know what, Jack? What I find in life is that we cannot, like when we're upset, it's not the best time to make decisions. We just have to let it, you know, like try for a while and then make the decision. But at the end of the day, there is always a new day. So even if it's sometimes I said, okay, I'm going to give up, I, I, I haven't given up. And I don't think I'm going to give up. I think I'm going to keep trying, you know, every day to make the best out of it. I was surprised to find out that those orange stickers in your painting, how hard is it to paint all oh. the different things in each of your artworks? You know what? No, they're not stickers. I actually, even the masking tape, people ask me about like the masking tapes that they look like masking tapes. I like to paint them. And I, you know what it is, Jack? I mean, it's like painting over and over again. Like it's been, I've been doing it for 24 years. So sometimes, you know, you just, like the brush and the paint become so familiar that you can manipulate it to make it look like that, you know? So practice, I guess. I saw. You have Super Mario in one of your paintings. Shouldn't there be a copyright agreement? You are so much on the money on that question. That's such a good question, Jack. And you know the answer is no. I, can, I don't have copyright agreements to any of that because we artists, we're like communicating 
feelings, we're communicating uh, everyday events. And when we use Mario in our painting, I don't use Mario to sell it as a Nintendo object. Or I don't use Mickey Mouse to sell him as a Disney object. I just put him into my compositions and they become an object of the idea that I want to express. That's why you see a lot of artists doing Mickey, Superman, Spider-Man, because they're not actually selling the product, they're just trying to talk about something else. What makes you curious about art and life? You know what? I think life itself, like you said in there in that question, I mean, I'm always curious about what life is. And the many good things in life. I think we have to think about this. I mean, we have to go through life and if we spend time making the most out of it, I'm sure we're going to find a, a lot of good things about it. Make the, the, the good make be the more. Is there anything else you would like to share with our audience? Well, first of all, thank you, Jack. You are an amazing journalist. Keep up, you do amazing questions. Keep up with that and, and I just want to say thank you to everyone here in Singapore. I mean, you guys are amazing. You are full, it's, it's like everybody from everywhere and everybody, that's what really gets me about Singapore. How not, it's clean, it's organized, it's advanced, but just the diversity in here and how you embrace it. So thank you and I think you have a great future ahead of you, Jack. Oh, so, you sign my autograph? <laughs> Yay! Well, I sign my autograph and you sign your autograph for me. Is that a deal? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Okay. Signed. Oh, you're going to sign it for me? Yeah. The magazine? That's what we'll do. All right, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, Jack.